quick look at the menus then. So flick across video 4K, 1080, 16, 9, both 30 and 60 frames per second. Now you can go pro mode and access the other resolutions, but just looking at on board itself. Let's go back here now, photo. We can choose the ratios 4, 3, 3, 2, or 16, 9, and a countdown as well. Pretty handy. So, slow mo, shoot across 1080p four times. We know that means it will crop in and pump out the file for you. No 120 frames per second actual file per se. Time lapse, another one I'm looking forward to. You've got the actual time lapse there, and you've got we can get it back, the motion lapse there, and it gives you a little instruction to move this gimbal camera to where it needs to be. Pano, 180 or three by three. That's gonna be good fun too. Let me just put it back to video just for the sake of it. Swiping up, we've got a recenter, we've got a flip around, we've got fast follow, slow follow. And we've got follow, tilt locked, or FPV. Very simple stuff there. Good. If we go across, that's where we can access the files once the SD card is in it and has files on it. You're not going to hear your video file audio back. So, I don't know, a bit awkward. Maybe when they get the whole mic thing going on, they'll sort that out in a phone where that would be handy because, you know, you want to check if you've got your audio correctly. But I guess as this isn't currently an audio beast until at least the adapter comes out you're going to be using alternatives although i have heard good audio samples from this thing and i've heard audio samples that people on youtube slate we shall see we will be testing that out swipe down you've got your cog there you've got quality there so you can jump into super fine which it's already feeling a bit warm as it is so i won't be doing that We've got your dimensions, for want of the right word. Screen brightness, actually, let me just try something there. Dimensions, if we come back out, now we've got the right letterbox formatting. So pretty cool, so you can actually see the dimension that you're shooting in. So if we go back to that, you'll see the difference. Now it's using the full screen which is cool, which is nice, but it's not quite what you're actually shooting. I think I want to use that for a bit at least. I can still see my other bits and pieces, 4K, battery life, etc. I'm going to try that and see how we get on. That is really small now, postage stamp side, I think first class stamp size. So let's go into the cog. We can see I've got 53% battery left. Calibration there, which I'll be doing shortly. Tilt control on, auto power off. You've got 15 minutes, one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. I think five minutes is fine. Tells you what's on your storage. Anti flicker, so when I go to South America, I'll change that to 60. And in here, language reset and device info here. Accessories, wireless module, dial calibration, control stick calibration. All grayed out because nothing is currently attached or at the time of recording even available that's all your stuff in there now of course on the top you can go up and down currently I can't see how you can go across but maybe I have to change the mode there but to all intents and purposes that's what you're dealing with there you go quick menu overview for some of you that wanted to see it, let us know in the comments what else you want to see. Me personally, I just want to see that plane touch down, although I'm going to be in the plane, so I'm not going to see it touch down, but I want to see the sun. That's what I want to see, so I'll see you there.